Hi guys, I'm Jeffrey from Signature Mazda. Today I'll be going over the 2020 CX-5 Signature. So for 2020, there's a brand new redesigned key fob with four buttons. Firstly is the lock button. Secondly is the unlock button. Thirdly, you have the power tailgate. So you press and hold that you can open and close the power tailgate. And the fourth one is the panic alarm button. Inside, there's also a hidden key fob. And there's a hidden key fob inside to open the door as well. With the car, it also has advanced keyless entry. What that means is if the key is in your bag or your pocket, all you have to do is press it onto the sensor over here to lock and unlock the vehicle. So the tailgate is height adjustable. All you have to do is pull down over here. And when you press and hold this trunk button, it's gonna make a beep, and then the next time it opens up, it'll be at the set lowered height. Also for the back seats, you can fold them down pretty handily. All you have to do is pull down on the levers here, bring down the seats, and you can also have the middle one folded down independently, so you can still have two people in the back. And all the seats do fold down flat as well. So now for the interior, uh, to start the car, this car has the keyless push to start. All you have to do is have your foot on the brake, and then press the start button over here. Seat adjustments are all power, so all you have to do is adjust the levers over here to move it up, down, or back and forth. And there's also two memory seat settings, so all you have to do is press set once you're at your desired comfortable seat position, and then press the one or two. To reset it, all you have to do is simply press the set and then one and two again, and anytime you press one of those two buttons, it'll move the seat back to that set position. The memory seating also saves the mirror settings, so all you have to do is turn the knob to the left or the right, and then you can adjust it up, down, left, or right. So we've got a few buttons over here. Firstly is the button for the power tailgate. So by pressing this, you can also open or close the power tailgate from the inside. Otherwise, over here, we also do have the off-road traction assist mode. So if you do find yourself in situations where you do have low poor traction, such as sand or mud, you can press this over here and it'll help you get out of those situations a bit better. Down here is to turn off the lane keep assist system. So you can just press it to turn it off. By default, the system is on, but anytime you press this, it'll turn it off and you just push it back to turn it back on. Down here, we also have the 360 view monitor. So what this does is it displays the front, back, and the sides for your parking. So then you can easily see if you are parallel parking or trying to park in a tight spot. You can see the front view over here. And then over here is to disable the parking sensors. So this car is equipped with front and rear parking sensors and it can be turned off by pressing over here. So the headlight and turn signal stops are found on the left here behind the steering wheel. Uh, there are four different modes for the headlight settings. Uh, there is an auto mode. So what that does is during daytime, it'll just be the daytime running lights, and at nighttime, it'll automatically turn on the low beams. So that means you can drive uh, without worrying about leaving your headlights on or forgetting to turn them off, putting them on. On the steering wheel here, you can control some of your radio functions. Over here, pressing up or down, you can adjust the volume. And over here, you can skip tracks or rewind it. And pressing info over here displays different information on your digital instrument display cluster. So you can show trip A, trip B, or some of your active safety sense features will display over here so you can see if a car is in front of you or you can see your lane departure warning or if someone's in your blind spot on the display over here as well and also it does show up on the heads of display um, if you press and hold the info button what you can do is reset the trip a and trip b meter and down here you'll have your bluetooth controls so you can pick up calls over here or drop calls here from the steering wheel and in the middle over here you'll find the voice command so you can use it to um, guide you to navigation prompts uh, change the radio station as well. So on the right side of the steering wheel over here is your cruise control settings. This vehicle is equipped with the adaptive cruise control. So when you set the cruise control on by pressing this button over here, while you're in motion, you can adjust the speed over here while you can cancel and resume the cruise control over here. So with the adaptive cruise control on the left over here, you can actually adjust the speed uh, and the, sorry, the following distance of you and the car in front of you. For example, if the car in front of you starts to slow down, your car will follow at that set distance. Whereas if the car stops, your car will stop as well. And you can set how far away from the car you, you want to be by pressing over here to make it further and over here to make a larger gap. So all your climate control is controlled over here with these buttons and dials. Over here we have a heated steering wheel, whereas we have front and rear uh, heated seats. So the rear seats are controlled by the armrest in the center over here, whereas for the driver and the passenger, they're up here with three different levels of heated seats. Down here, the vehicle is also equipped with front ventilated seats. So over here, it'll just blow cold air out of the perforations in the seat. For your climate controls, over here you can adjust the fan speed with the plus and minus, whereas you can turn on or off the AC system here. 
over here, you can adjust whether it's um, recirculated air, and then the front and rear defrosters are found over here. The vehicle does also have dual zone climate control, so both sides, the driver and the passenger, can have their own individual temperatures, and it's also equipped with the automatic climate control. This vehicle is equipped with an electronic parking brake instead of a regular manual handbrake. So to use it, all you have to do is pull up on this lever. You'll see the light turn on here indicating that the parking brake is on. Also on the instrument cluster, it'll show a little brake button. And to disengage the parking brake, all you have to do is have your foot on the brake and push down. And it'll turn off the light indicating that the parking brake is turned off. The vehicle also does have an auto hold feature. What that means is that if the vehicle is stopped, um, all you have to do is press the auto hold, and once you release off the brake, the vehicle still will not move. And then once you step on the accelerator, then the vehicle will continue moving and disengage the auto hold. And then the next time you stop, the vehicle will still stay in place after you let off the brake. All you have to do is press the auto hold again to disable this feature. It's pretty handy when you're actually in an extended stop, maybe at a stop sign or at a drive through Then you can grab your stuff without having to let your foot off the brake or putting your vehicle in park. The infotainment screen is controlled by these buttons and dials over here. So there are a few shortcuts. Firstly to your music, this one's to your home menu, and this one's for your navigation. So there's also a backspace button and a favorites button. With the favorites button, you can set favorite contacts when you're connected to Bluetooth, uh, favorite destinations on your navigation, or even favorite radio stations. And all you have to do is press a star uh, to scroll through some of those favorites. In order to scroll through the navigation, all you have to do is turn the dial and push down to select. And over here we have the volume knob, so you can turn the dial to the right to increase the volume, turn to the left to lower it, or just push down to mute the radio controls as well. So for the entertainment button, all you have to do is push down, and then you can scroll through different um, music modes such as AM, FM, Sirius XM. For example, right now we are on Sirius XM. You can scroll through the channel list over here. And if I press a backspace, and if I want to favorite this station, all I have to do is press over here and add to my favorites. So to use the navigation, all you have to do is press on this button, or when you scroll to the menu navigation, push down. Using this uh, flag with a plus button on it, we can navigate home, set up a home address with a city, street, house number, or we can simply do find address and type in the city, street, postal code, house number. While the vehicle is stationary, you're also able to use it as a touch screen, so it is pretty handy for when you have to type in a location. The vehicle also has point of interest that you can search for navigation. So you can search the nearby area, see what's around, or you can even filter by category. So you can see the nearby fuel stations, parking, restaurants, or you can filter by name. For example, you can type in a keyword such as Starbucks, McDonald's, Walmart. And if you want to choose a location, all you have to do is push down, navigate to, start, and they'll have a guided, guided route towards that location with voice command as well. With this vehicle, it's also on the heads-up display, so it'll show up when you have to start doing a turn in within like 500 meters, so you can stare straight ahead and still have your navigation prompt without staring at the screen. Over here on the far right of the menu is a settings button, so all you have to do is push down. You can adjust the heads-up display to a set higher or lower height, adjust the brightness control to automatic or manual, and also the brightness and the rotation of the heads-up display, or you can simply push down here to uncheck it and disable the heads-up display on the windshield. Otherwise, other displays, you can turn off the whole display, set the brightness or contrast of this infotainment screen. Some of the safety features you can turn off or disable through over here as well, such as the blind spot monitoring system, the lane keep assist system, and you can also change it so the alert is a vibration or a rumble or a beep. Sound is over here for the Bose speakers. You can adjust the bass, the treble, or you can also use the Bose center point or audio pilot. Bluetooth connectivity is all over here. So once you want to add a new device, all you have to do is press over here. Mobile device, all you have to do is search for connected Bluetooth devices where you'll see Mazda, and it'll prompt you to enter and accept. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you learned a few new things about the CX-5 through this video over here.